Right now, the Salt Lake City area is home to over a million people, and of them, more than 16,000 struggle to find a warm meal for dinner each night. Throughout our nation's history, homelessness has been a persistent problem that no effort has fully resolved. For 80,000, home has become a cardboard box. You know, the homeless problem was bad even when the economy was good. There are tons of organizations that try to help these people, but none quite like this. It's called the Burrito Project, and it's sweeping the nation by storm. It's called the Burrito Project. The Burrito Project. And you're calling it the Burrito Project. My name is Jorge Fierro. I started Burrito Project SLC last year with a couple of friends of mine. I once, when I came from Mexico, was homeless, and uh, I found myself uh, lacking of English, and obviously I didn't know anybody. Here in Salt Lake City, uh, the people are truly uh, um, very good at heart. One of the things that I noticed is that I always found someone to feed me. And ever since, I, I, I've been always thinking, how can I pay it forward? Eventually, Fierro would go on to create his own multi-million dollar corporation, open up a gourmet Mexican restaurant, and finally establish the frameworks for his own nonprofit charity. I, I, was, I was very eager to be successful in America, and at the same time, I was so thankful for those who came along the way and helped me with my success. One day, Fierro was eating a burrito here in Salt Lake, and he found himself absolutely disgusted by the quality of the food. And, and I just couldn't believe how bad the quality was, and that's when the idea about starting my own business came to mind. So I wanted to provide residents of Salt Lake with quality Mexican cuisine, he decided to create Rico Brands and start selling his products here at the Utah Farmer's Market. Sales started off slowly, but soon enough, Fierro's beans caught on like wildfire. This led to the founding of his company, Rico Brands, which then allowed him to start his restaurant, The Frida Bistro. The Burrito Project started uh, in the beginning of 2012. Uh, a couple of people approached me concerning the, uh, the idea of, of uh, making burritos and, and feed the homeless. I immediately thought that it was a great fit for me. So Burrito Project Salt Lake City distributes anything between 900 to about 1,400 burritos a week. Right now, we probably have about 300 volunteers on our Facebook that at one given time or another have been part of the Burrito Project Salt Lake City. And around five o'clock, a group of volunteers comes in and starts rolling burritos. Uh, we only make uh, rice and beans burritos, which is very high in protein. Uh, we, make them, we, can, we make them pretty much right before we deliver the burritos. The tortillas are made on site. Uh, the rice and beans are always made by one of my employees. Half an hour after the rolling begins, another group of volunteers arrives, this time to deliver the burritos. I got started, I think at the end of May, maybe, maybe June. It seemed like a great cause, so I came down and we started we started when it was still a little bit cooler outside and there weren't that many folks in town, so we were doing two days a week at that point. And then we ramped it up once more homeless folks came back in town. The Burrito Project is such a unique humanitarian effort because anybody can directly participate to make a difference. You don't need to be rich. The only thing you need to do is donate some of your time. Oftentimes, we don't realize how blessed we are. There you go. You're welcome. Every day I think about how can I benefit and how can I help other people to become successful. It has impacted uh, the, the homeless population at large here in Salt Lake City a lot. Uh, more, than, more than anything else, and besides feeding them, we're just letting them know that we care. Though Jorge Fierro and the Burrito Project have made such a tremendous impact on the lives of the homeless here in Salt Lake City, on a national scale, the war against poverty still goes on. If you'd like to volunteer, check out the Burrito Project's website at burritoprojectslc.webs.com.